Hello Stratters, welcome to the Pauper Gauntlet. I'm Dan, this is round five. I am playing White Heroes by Paterna Magic Team in... Uh, yeah, let's do it! All right, I played this guy before, that time he was playing Demir Control. Which will not be easy for me. Trailblazer, I have 20 lands. Trailblazer, can I put... I can put ethereal armor on him, but that's totally non-functional. So I will mulligan it. Oh god. Now I don't even have a creature, so I will mulligan it. And I will keep this hand and hope to draw into something. It goes on the bottom right, I just want the other card. Horrible mulligan. Oh, he switched deck. Or he was playing Esper Control the last time I played him. I have only 16 creatures. Which is of course horrible against Control. But I have a pretty extensive sideboard plan. Okay. I am up against something interesting and we will see it develop. At least it doesn't have black. So what am I playing against? I think he's gonna try to abuse evoked Maldrifters and stuff. That's what I would have done. Sit some sort of Azorius blink deck. Oh, it's a Bant Blink deck. <sighs> Looks like an evoked Maldrifter to me. No, it's a Fierce Empath. Oh god! This is gonna be rough. He is gonna evoke a walker of the grow and then it's going to... Haha! Phantom Nomad. And Ethereal Armor. That will be... Pretty insignificant creature against a 5-5 five, five and a 8-8 eight, eight, or what's Walker? Here comes the evoked Walker of the Grow. Nice combo. I do have eternal blocker though. So now it can block and kill the small one. And then... Block the big one for a long while. Now he'll Aura Mancer back his renewal. There's a journey targeting my guy who happens to have protection from white. Put the land on the bottom. Oh, lost the ethereal armor. I think it was worth it. We can still kill the 4-4. Four -four. But now we don't have eternal blockers. Of course it was still worth it. I would have lost the ethereal armor anyway. 
We're killing the 4-4, waiting for another renewal. So block and kill Mr. 4-4. Who doesn't return, right? And now I don't have anything. Now it's rough. I can let it get past me one more time. Or a Mouser. No Mulrifter. That's nice. Bant Renewal. That's how I'm going to name the deck. Okay, maybe I need to champ block here then, because I don't want to end up on a three turn clock from the Mulrifter. So this guy dies. And now what? Yeah, I guess I'll protect it from green and scry one. But I feel like I am playing an uphill battle. Oh, what devil is this? Momentary blink. Oh. Yeah, that's a problem. But I do think that I lost to my own mulligan. So what could be useful in a weird match like this? Oh, now I should, oh, I should give him protection first. Of course, so he couldn't take it as a target. Well, I don't think it really matters now. But that's a good thing to remember. <laughs> oh yes, well I think I can just give up here. Well, maybe not yet. Commune with the gods. Momentary blink, angelic renewal. Yeah, I can't let this deck get going, but I should be able to crush it before it can deal with me. Only have journeys for removal. So I block the 7-7. Seven, seven. And then I get to look at the card before I die. And it's hopeful Eidolon and I'm dead to the attack. So now let's sideboard. Protection from black and from red. Protection from green and from blue. I like that. Destroying white enchantments doesn't seem like a good idea. Well, he had momentary blinks in the graveyard. The problem is, what do I have to take out? I could take out the one-offs. Let's check for some similar match. What do I do against the kitty decks? Against Boris Kitty, I take out Journey to Nowhere. Well, that seems bad. 
I do want my journeys to nowhere. Life links should be good. But it seems to be enchantments I should take out. Maybe these. What about these relics? I don't care about my gravy. I'll take out another Triclopean site. Uh, what else? One pilgrim seems a bit random. Don't I want more pilgrims? I'll take out the showman's blessing. And let's play. Tell me how you would have sideboarded. You can find any deck list in the Pope Gauntlet by checking the comments in the show notes because they are there. Two lands, a sky guard. Stuff is happening here. I'm playing this land so I can be sure to play the sky guard. What about journey? Journey will hurt. But now if he journeys this now, it's just a one for one. And next turn I can use lifelink and God's willing. Uh oh, looks like a journey. No, it's the renewal. So now let's build this guy. And never ever lose him. So we need to keep up God's willing at all times. And maybe even cast it on him just to make him bigger. That seems wrong. Evoked Maldrifter. A lens. I kind of want to use the God's Willing now to scry to see an extra card, to give it another plus. Could be super bad to do it, but I, I'll get closer to being able to use more cards. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna give it protection from red. I'm not sure you do that thing. Uh, do I want this? I already have the lifelink effect and I think I need lands here. So I'm going to put it on the bottom. Now I get a phantom nomad and nothing to put in on it, but it is a 3-3 flyer with lifelink. So that's pretty awesome. And now we can actually counter angelic renewal with that thing or counter journey with god's willing hooting mandrills four mana well, that hardly matters right now. Because my creature trumps his creature. Mana! No mana. And I don't want to give it protection from white. Sigh. Can't burn the relic. 
I could journey his mandrills, but I really want to protect my creature. So I'm doing nothing. Which feels kind of weird. And I can't untap it or anything like that. Six mana, what's that? It's another mandrills. Yeah, that's a problem. That guy I might have to journey. Uh, what about flashing in Shumani's Blessing, giving it protection from green? Just to do something with my mana. Land, very nice. Then I can safely journey one of them. And still keep up God's willing. <laughs> still clicking first on the mana, old habits die hard. Three turns. Or two if I waste the God's Willing, but that would be bad. I go down to 24. I'll, uh, I will cycle this. Or will I play it? I'm hoping for a one mana thing to play on the Sky Guard. I'm cycling it. And I find nothing. And now if it is a journey, I cast the protection. Pulse of Morasa. Wow. That's horrible. I'd gladly take an extra card. Would I have paid six life for a card there? Probably not. So maybe it was an advantage, but he gave up a card. All these nomads, it's crazy. Uh, is this the end? Nine, nine. Uh, well, that's enough. For a two turn clock at least. Keep up God's willing. No reason to play the Eidolon. And even if he yearns, yes! Okay, a chance to review the sideboard. That was a really weird hand from him. I think my relic was good. Green and from blue, that's pretty good. Having vigilance would have been useful there, but it would have been win more. Maybe that's better than Shumano's Blessing. I'll try one of them over Shumano's Blessing. Okay, white heroes, this is a fight. 
Not a fight I expected to see in round 5 of the Pauper Gauntlet. Okay, Mr. Trailblazer. If my opponent has a journey, this is the end. For us. Okay, I probably need to spread out these ethereal armors and try to bait the journey. Can that realistically be done? Preordain. God, I want to smack double ethereal armor on that thing, but it's so risky. So I am just gonna play the nomad here. Oh god, so many things. But I am playing Phantom Nomad, I'm still clicking the mana first. Now I could get him to plus three, plus three, plus one, seven, a ten creature. That journey could just wreck totally. I'm glad I didn't play it. But now does he have two journeys? I wish I had something else that destroyed enchantment except leave no trace. Because leave no trace destroys my enchantment. It's a god's willing. Totem armor doesn't do anything here, so maybe I should have cyborged it out. Patience pays off. But casting God's Willing on this thing now will really, really be sad. And then I will not be able to use Hyena Ambronit. Not two mana. It's just a lens. And it's not anything white. So the question now is, can I do 16 damage? I'm a 610. These two spells make it an 8. No, it just goes to 9. No, plus 2 for this. 11. Oh, it's not good enough. Angelic Renewal. So I can kill him next turn. So I will not use the Umbra, I will keep up God's Willing and I will play the Skyguard. Yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. Because I could not get to 16 there, could I? Still clicking on the mana, damn it! Not the journey, but a mull rifter or something. And that doesn't help at all. Oh, unless he draws a journey, of course. Oh, it does help a lot. He draws four cards, so. And there are no instant spells that deals with a oh, celestial flare. That would surprise me. But I'm gonna guard against Celestial Flare and attack with both creatures. I'm gonna give 
the trailblazer protection from blue and the umbra on it to win unless he journeys me now with his four extra cards but it's not the journey it's a fierce empath and that will not matter because the game is now over and white heroes moves to round six of the pauper gold now i don't even need to play around either snipe that's toolboxy Protection form blue. Put that on the bottom. And make it giganormous. And attack. Wait a minute, it doesn't fly. No. <laughs> oh, what am I doing? Oh, Jesus. What a misplay. Oh God. And now I'm gonna get Aether sniped. Oh no, oh no. I had the journey in hand even. Oh God, this could be the biggest mistake of all the gauntlet. For some reason the sky guard convinced me that it flew. But Aether Snipe is 6 mana, right? But it can be evoked. Yes. Alright, that sucks. I'm gonna lose this. I screwed it up totally. Oh my god. Oh my god. Yeah, I'm sorry, Paterna Magic team. That's unforgivable, but it's all part of the gauntlet. Wow. Okay, the most important thing is not to give up now. But I feel like screaming and beating myself. Wow. I'm gonna journey the Mull Drifter. Because if he blinks that, I have no way of recovering. And then I'm gonna try to raise him somehow. I only need one spell on the Trailblazer to block the Aether Snipe. But of course he can blink that. So maybe it's the Nomad here. Oh, I'm so upset at myself. What the hell? I feel like quitting magic and killing myself. No, maybe not the second part, but why do I do stuff like that? It just makes me sad. I know why, it's because I talk when I'm playing instead of just thinking, but that's part of what do we do here? Yikes. Epic misplay. Very hard not to fret about it. Oh, he had Celestial Flare. Wisp Mare. What the hell is that? Destroy target enchantment. Costs three. Oh, he can then get the Mull Drifter back. So 
swing, play both the creatures. Uh, okay. Oh my god. And he still has the Whispmare. And now he cares. Oh god, I should just quit. <laughs> oh my god. I didn't know it could do it on permanence. I thought it was creatures. Hmm. Can't use the Umbra now. And the journey feels very useless. Can I still raise this somehow? Depends a bit on what I draw. Whismare is a one tree flyer. I am so sorry, Paterna Medic team. I know how much work you put into these decks. And here I am just messing it up. Oh god. I'm gonna take this. Well, at least I can journey the... Oh, got the lifelink. Lifelink, Umbra, journey on the mandrills. But I'm so tilted right now that I don't... I'm not sure what I'm doing, but getting to 1-5 with... The trailblazer for blocks has to be pretty good. But I really like to get further than 2-2. Two, two. But I'm putting the umbra on the trailblazer so I have a blocker. And then I'm journeying the mandrills. So what will he whisper here? Probably the lifelink. Could have gotten a 4-4 flyer, but yeah, that was probably a celestial flare. Oh god, I'm so upset. I can hardly think. I want to like cancel the whole YouTube channel. <laughs> I'm sorry. God. I am tilting like crazy. Here comes Whismer. No, it's still on my turn. Oh god. Was that the flashback? I, I thought I checked for... No, yeah, it was the flashback. I thought it wasn't in the graveyard. There's another moment to blink in the graveyard. And here come Whismare. No, Forcey. Oh, Christ. Yeah, this is me tilting. Tilting like crazy. 
Well, I, I've done some enormous misplays in the gauntlet before this. Turns out that playing all these decks is pretty hard. Uh, I can take a swing next turn if I don't block here. But I don't have any way to draw multiple blockers or something, so... Oh, maybe I do. Okay, what's the targets here? I can get a protection from blue. <sighs> I don't want to play anymore, I just want to cry. Uh, I don't know. He can just blink his uh, Aegis Snipe anyway, so... I'm just playing the two blockers, still clicking on the dam. Aha, this was correct. And now I'm getting something, but I'm already dead. Maybe I should have played the Pilgrim and got that and put it on him, but then I would die because six damage would get through. And it still does. So I lose when I should have won. Yeah. Oh, God. Thank you for watching.